take a visual of the control for each bend. Oh yeah, and here's a, a visual representation of what we're going to do. Just let me see here. Get a little zoom, side views, before and after it's bent. So it's nice. You have your 3D model, your dimensions, your flat. So it's okay. all your information is right there for your operator. Yep. And you have that. Uh, can we look at? Yeah. Can we look at that uh, that side view? The uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, right there. And then a pinch and zoom. Uh -huh. And then uh, after the bend, that's after exactly bend. what it's going to look like. Okay. Perfect. Terrific. Okay. Thank you. Let's go into that first bend. And now to start, you do. Alright. You notice I'm gauging on top. Yeah. Different steps for your gauging positions here. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, oil shift. Now you notice I'm gauging on two different planes of the back gauges here. Mm -hmm. Now it's checking the angle. It is checking the angle. Yep. And what's it doing? Is it just doing basically, just micro trying. movements of yeah. the top? So basically so I'm just holding the material, it's uh, hitting it, it's reading the spring back of it, and then okay. it's gonna hit your target value. Okay. So if it's got if your uh, parts are maybe cut in different grain directions, it does compensate for anything uh, like that. Okay. So that's what's nice about the bend indicator. And you don't have to have it come on every time, obviously. Yeah. So once this is all kind of dialed in, you can really just save your values. And you can just have it come out every uh, one, every halfway through your job. So you make sure uh, your variance of your batches are still accurate. Letting it just do the work. I'm just holding the part. 90. And we have our piece in a minute or so.